get started, we're going to open up our install kit. The install kit has two main components. This is the main auger, goes in first, and then the second, and this is a two inch Forstner bit. It comes with a self-feed bit, but we don't need that, so you remove this, and then we've got what we call the dummy bit, a really important, very specialized piece here. You can see that flat spot, and that goes right to that Allen screw there, boom. All right, before we drill, I just wanna point out the depth to which we drill. Um, here is the tab that we're gonna install in the tree. This is the boss, the fat part. That's what gives it all of its shear strength. You know, that surface area goes into the tree, typically about half the length of the boss. These cherry trees have very little bark and bark doesn't give you anything structurally. So we're gonna take a tape measure right now, boom, and we're gonna measure I've got a, always good to have a marker like this. We're gonna measure and mark half of this boss. It's a four inch boss, so there's that mark. This is gonna give me the depth that I'm gonna take that auger into the tree. It's about seven and a half inches or so. I might give it a little bit more just for fun, seven and three quarters of an inch. So with that knowledge, I'm gonna to go to the auger and I'm gonna make a mark here Seven and a half is right there. So when we're drilling into the tree, I've got a very clear indicator of what depth I want to stop at. Make sense? Okay, so with that, we will go to the tree and we will break bark, as we say. So we're ready to drill into the tree and I have chosen to stay at a, a relatively low level because it's easier to film rather than be up 10 feet in the air. So that's the only reason that I'm starting so low in these trees. But uh, the first step is to take this auger. It's got a little cell feed at the tip. You take it right to the point that I've designated and then you use your torpedo level so you get the level down right, okay? This conveniently has some magnets on it but you wanna get that bubble right between the lines, right? You're gonna do a little this direction too, and I know that with the tree over there, we're gonna be right in this area. I'll get into that detail in a little bit later on, but right now I really wanna concentrate on that first drilling of the tree and installing of a tab. So this is the critical thing. If you can see the bubble there between the lines, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna check this level quite a few times. So let's just get started, take it off. Oh, I like to do this too. Hang in there, buddy. It's just a pin prick. Okay, we've got some good connection there. I'm gonna now check again. Looks pretty good. I'm kind of feeling it against my body to know that that's the level that I like. You see that nice marker will tell me how far in I'm gonna go. These augers cut like mad, so be ready. That self-feed bit is just pulling the, the drill bit in there. So again, we're gonna check. Okay, it looks, it looks pretty good. I might've been going up a little bit high, so I'm gonna just kind of correct it a little bit and we'll keep going. Okay, we're committed. There's my distance, so I've only got about an inch and a half to go. Boom, maybe a little for good measure. Put it on reverse. Okay, now I've got the Forstner bit. It's a two inch diameter bit that will make room for the boss of the tab. I'm tightening it on here. This dummy goes in. It's a slightly smaller diameter than the auger bit that I just put in. There it is. So it slides in easily. Oh, there we go, get it in the right orientation. Now this, again, we only wanna go that two inches of depth. So if I just hold this up here for a moment, I will take my same marker and go two inches back. So two inches is right about where the shoulder is here. So I know when I get to that point that I'm gonna stop and it's at that point that we'll take the uh, 
the tab and put it into the tree. I can bite a little bit, so. Okay, come on in and have a look. This is really pretty. That is ready to receive the tab. So here we are with the tab. Um, first order of business, Charlie's bringing out the uh, WD-40. Woo, <laughs> got away from you there. My bad. Um, always good to put a little lubricant on this stuff. Ooh, I'll just twist it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's it. It does a surprisingly good job of allowing you to get in there. Okay, perfect. Now, I will start this, and Charlie, you're all ready to go with the pipe wrench. This is a really critical tool. Three foot long pipe wrench. Uh, if you can't find them at the hardware store, we sell them online, so don't be too worried about it. Oh, beautiful. So we hit the mark and we also can feel quite clearly when you hit the back of that hole. So this is in, got it, done. First tab in, boom. <laughs>